In military and civil aviation, routine can snap in seconds. In this episode, we break down five crashes. A Su-30SM over Irkutsk that dives with no pullout. In Malaysia, a Premier I loses lift on short final and meets a highway. At Tokyo Haneda, JAL 516 touches down into an occupied runway and a fireball. At Willow Run, a MiG-23 crew ejects as energy vanishes. And in Corona, a Piper lands on the 91 freeway and erupts. We slow the footage, trace the checklists, and stick to verified findings. No myths, no filler. October 23, 2022, Irkutsk, Siberia. A Su-30SM returns from an acceptance flight for the Irkutsk Aviation Plant. Seconds of phone video capture the fighter in a steep, almost vertical dive. There is no attempt to pull out, no ejection sequence. The jet strikes a residential house and ignites a major fire. Both test pilots die. No one on the ground is killed. What happened? According to the 2025 finding by Russia's investigative committee, nitrogen was mistakenly fed into the aircraft's life support system instead of oxygen. The crew suffered hypoxia and became incapacitated. With no human control, the aircraft continued until it descended over the city and fell. This incident is stark in its simplicity. The airframe, engines, and avionics could not compensate for a single, invisible error in the gas supply chain on the ground. A modern, multi-role fighter, flown by professionals, was lost because the pilots could not breathe. Precision on the ramp matters as much as skill in the cockpit. August 17, 2023, El Mina, near Shah Alam, Malaysia. A Beechcraft 390 Premier One, tail number N28JV, is cleared to land on Subang's runway 15 after a short hop from Langkawi. Weather is good. There is no distress call. Dash cams along the highway capture the jet descending at very low altitude, rolling slightly left and striking the road in a fireball. Eight people on board are killed, along with two on the ground. Why did a seemingly normal approach collapse in seconds? According to Malaysia's final investigation, the lift dump spoilers were deployed inadvertently during the before landing checks. Those spoilers are meant to kill lift after touchdown. Extended in flight, they robbed the wing of lift at a height where recovery was virtually impossible, leading to a loss of control. Contributing factors included the captain flying from the right seat, the left seat pilot not type rated on the Premier, gaps in training and SOP discipline, and weak crew resource management. The cockpit voice recorder confirmed the checklist flow. Weather played no role. One small action, out of sequence, at the wrong time, ended the flight. January 2nd. 2024, Tokyo Haneda. Japan Airlines Flight 516, an Airbus A350-900, is cleared to land on runway 34 right after a routine sector from Hokkaido. Cameras in the terminal capture touchdown, a sudden orange flash, and the jet sliding ablaze down the runway. The A350 has struck a Japan Coast Guard-8 that was on the runway ahead. All 379 people on the airliner evacuate. Five of the six Coast Guard crew do not survive. It is the first total hull loss of an A350. What turned a normal landing into catastrophe? Investigators report that JAL-516 had landing clearance. The Coast Guard aircraft had been instructed to hold short at taxiway C5 with no clearance to line up or depart, yet it entered the runway and stopped on the center line. A visual runway occupancy alert illuminated in the tower but was not acted upon in time. In seconds, layered defenses, ATC instructions, cockpit discipline, and surface monitoring failed to align. Inside the A350, the crew managed smoke, fire, and crowd dynamics, opened only usable exits, and moved passengers away from the flames. The airplane was lost, 
but the evacuation worked as trained. The lesson is stark. Runway incursions remain one of aviation's most lethal threats, especially during high-tempo mixed operations. One unauthorized entry can overwhelm even modern safeguards. August 13th, 2023, Willow Run, Michigan. During the finale of Thunder Over Michigan, a privately owned MiG-23 UB begins a low, curved banana pass along runway 23. Moments later, the pilot sees the afterburner fail to light and feels the airspeed bleeding away. He sweeps the variable geometry wings fully forward to 16 degrees and starts troubleshooting while turning back toward the field. In the rear cockpit, the pilot-rated observer judges the energy state unrecoverable and initiates ejection. In this jet, either handle fires both seats. The crew punches out at low altitude and parachutes into Belleville Lake with minor injuries. Seconds later, the MiG impacts a parking lot by the Waverly on the lake apartments, igniting cars. Remarkably, no one on the ground is hurt. Investigators later describe a power loss scenario, rapid energy decay, and a critical mismatch in cockpit decision-making. The two pilots were not aligned on when to eject. Weather was benign. A final cause has not been issued. The lesson for display flying is unforgiving. When thrust falters close to the ground, seconds matter, geometry matters, and crews must share the same mental model, or the window for action snaps shut. August 9, 2022, Corona, California. A Piper PA-32300 Cherokee 6, tail number N841AD, is returning to Corona Municipal Airport. Entering the downwind, the pilot adjusts power. The engine doesn't respond. Throttle cycles don't help, altitude is bleeding away. With the runway out of reach, he aims for the eastbound lanes of the 91 freeway near Lincoln Avenue. Dash cams capture the forced landing. The airplane touches down, clips a pickup, pivots into the median, and erupts in flames. Miraculously, both people on board walk away. No one on the ground is seriously hurt. What failed? The final investigation cites a partial loss of engine power for reasons that could not be determined. Examiners found a twisted fuel line and evidence of a pre-existing leak at the engine-driven fuel pump, but bench tests showed pressures within limits and recorded engine data did not confirm a fuel flow restriction. The pilot reported he likely had not selected the auxiliary fuel pump on while troubleshooting. In the last seconds, he intentionally stalled to avoid a car, landed hard, and impact forces and fire destroyed the airplane. The outcome underscores simple priorities. Fly the airplane, pick the survivable option, and protect people on the road. Five stories, five different chains, yet the pattern is the same. Small misses stack fast. Energy management, checklist discipline, clear ATC and cockpit communication, and rehearsed evacuations decide outcomes long before the camera rolls. If this breakdown helped you see the why behind the footage, tap like, drop a comment with your biggest takeaway, and tell us which incident you want analyzed next. Disagree with something or have first-hand detail? Add it below. Specifics and official sources are welcome, and we'll highlight the most useful notes for everyone. Subscribe for more evidence-based episodes. Share this with someone who loves aviation, and check our playlist for deeper dives. Thanks for watching. And remember, precision on the ramp and in the cockpit is what keeps routine from snapping.